Welcome back. Now, in times of terrorism, there's still space for faith beliefs. New York-based artist Zarina Hashmi in an exhibition of her most recent works, which opens in Delhi. The Aligarh-born artist reflects on how divides are created when faith is misused. Blinding Light, New York-based artist Zarina Hashmi's Ode to Faith. This paperwork, gilded with gold leaf, is inspired by the story of Moses, who faints when God reveals himself. I had serious health problems and I knew that I'm not going to live very long. Then I think that brought me back to faith in a way, of, uh, you know, faith of my ancestors. And I was reminded of the story of Moses. Zarina was born and brought up in Aligarh in a family of scholars. In 1959, her father moved to Karachi and Zarina, after traveling the world with her diplomat husband, finally set up home in New York in the mid-1970s. Over the years, she revisited her roots in India through memories and her faith through every single person who is silenced. I'm not like those Muslim women who are making big headways in, in the West because they denounce it. I want to be connected to the people who can't speak for themselves. In Pakistan also with the Christians, they hide their religion and it's very sad. Increasingly, her art began to question notions of security, safety and refuge. Azharina does not proclaim any manifesto. She manages to convey the disquiet of politics through silently stated positions. For example, she works a lot with maps and borders, whether it be the border between India and Pakistan, whether it be uh, that in the Holy Land, or even the cities that she has lived in, whether it be New York. Post 9-11, the divide deepened. It did hurt me a lot because suddenly I was identified by my name and who I am. And then in my country's degree of birth also, I'm the other. In her most recent showing, Zarina's art submits completely to faith, a faith she shares with the Sufi saints who used poetry, music, mathematics, mysticism as tools of enlightenment. In New Delhi, Shikha Trivedi for NDTV.